Greenwood tonight. A fire there continues to smolder 24 hours after it started. A train trestle caught on fire yesterday. Part of it collapsed overnight. Neighbors have also been warned about air quality because of the smoke. Chris Woodard has been on the scene all day. Chris, what's the latest? Well, if you take a look, you can see that train trestle is now completely gone. And as neighbors here watch this wreckage smoke, they are reliving an anxious night. And you could just see smoke going, you know, way up into the sky. It's been a full day since this fire sparked and spread, taking out a train trestle and blanketing the city in smoke. It was pretty bad. It was worse this morning, you know, because you wake up and you just got nothing but the smell. A child walks the street covering his face with a bandana. Smoke still drifting through the air. Nervous moments barely passed. So from our front porch, we can see the flames over here. Kristen Titko was worried last night. We were out immediately watering our trees and our bushes and watering the lawns. Um, we have kids and we have a lot of pets. So my kids gathered up the pets and all of our electronics and they took off, went to my son's house. And she says it was pretty scary to wake up and find an ember in her yard this morning. I mean, our front yard is nothing but straw. So I thought if one little ember flies over, it's going up. The fire started around 4 Monday afternoon and crews evacuated businesses as it spread through this field. I learned it was doubling in size every five minutes. It was spreading fast and it was burning intensely. The train trestle burned through the night and eventually almost all of it collapsed. Come daybreak, firefighters were warning people nearby to stay inside and keep their windows shut because of heavy smoke. And the worst part was when I walked outside this morning and opened the front door. The chemical smell was pretty harsh. I learned the trestle wood that was burning had been treated with preservative chemicals like creosote, making the smoke even more dangerous. It was pretty bad. It was worse this morning, you know, because you wake up and you just got nothing but the smell. Late today, crews tearing down what's left of the trestle. And watching closely to make sure things do not take a turn for the worst again. Yeah, and here we are as the trestle smokes. We have learned that investigators believe that fire started in the grass, then spread to the trestle. They do not think it was said intentionally, but at this point, they don't have a cause. Crews say they could be here for several days, saying they will not leave until they are confident there is no long-term fire threat. In Sherwood, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. <laughs>